Hello guys, today I will be reading another Master Hamster book, but this time I will be reading about mold. Alright, so let's start the book. Master Hamster, Super Science, Mold. Master Hamster, Super Science, Mold. What furry green and taking over Marcy's lunch? Find out when Master Hamster domest demystifies mold. Then put on your sciencing hat, hat and learn how to run your own experiment. Master Hamster Super Science presents It Came From The Lunchbox. PBNJ, for sure. Nah, looks like, uh, nah, looks more like tuna to me. It's my lunchbox, and I hate tuna. PBNJ, yawn. Hey, children, I spent the better part of my two days to maximize the yum-yum carrying cap capacity of my bolocopter. And guess what? We're out of yum-yums. What are you two even doing? Carrying out a moldy peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Tuna. Well, that's something you kids do a lot. Well, I found it in my lunchbox and it's it's been in my it's been under my bed all summer. We are bored. It's too hot to go outside. I hear uh, I hear ya. I suggest the, the my freeze rate seven thousand, but it only works when it's already freezing outside. I gotta fix that. Okay, so let me see this thing. I'll use my super magnifying monocle type of my already super superior powers of observation. Yowza! Great gobsmackers! What is that? Tuna, PBNJ. Sure, it could be a moldy sandwich, but let me pose the question. Could it be a beginning of an invasion of zombie sandwiches, or a hamster, ham, or a handsome hamster genius accidentally turned into cat ninja to a fuzzy blob? You did it. No, but I can dream. By my calculation, this moldy sandwich, this sandwich is obviously it's the restoral restoral in Oregon. Mr. Squeaks, are you trying to say this moldy lunch is an alien? Okay, there is maybe 2% chance it's a zombie sandwich. So, I gotta do a thing. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I can prove it. I am a scientist. I just, I don't just make up one of those theories. I follow the proven part of process of scientific investigation. We hold. You row on the back of the windshield. Mom's gonna freak out. Tell her Leon did it. Hey, no time to argue. We have sciencing to do. Sciencing isn't a word, and I'm pretty sure his scientific investigation is whack. He got it half right. Let's just humor him. He's not going to let it go, so we might as well play along. What else are we going to do? It's not like it will hurt anything. <gasps> what are you doing? I got bored, so I fired up the laser. We learned about scientific investigation in school, and giant lasers aren't part of it. Oh, yeah. Then why is my lab full of them? No giant lasers, Mr. Squeaks. But what if it grows bigger? What if it makes more mold monsters? Today, a lunchbox. Tomorrow, the water suit. ha 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 ha. My earborn mold spores will spread mold monsters everywhere. Pew, pew, pew. How about a compromise? Why don't we do a real scientific investigation on this moldy sandwich? Er, alien monster? Go on. 
We can test it for a weakness without lasers. First, we'll observe the phenomenon. I'm observing that this sandwich grew all this mold while sitting in my lunchbox all under my bed all summer. Now we ask the question like, where's the mold monster's hidden base? Hey, or we could have, uh, or we could ask a question about what we observed. Much, much. My question is: Will temperature affect the mold's growth? Mo the mold was growing in the under the bed inside the lunchbox. So my explanation is that a mold grows in a grows well in a warm, dark place. Then maybe if we put it in a cold place, it won't grow as well. Let's plan a test. We can find out if cold temperatures stop mold from go growing. Fine, if I can't have a laser, I suppose I'll sell for freeze gray. Um, maybe we start with a plain old freezer. Did I mention we're not yum yums? Um, according to my science notes, we need to make sure all of this the variables are the same except the one we're testing. So we put one half in the freezer and one half in the closet. Light conditions are the same, and the sandwich halves are bagged the same way to keep in moisture. Dark and moist, but so cold. Burr. The variable is temperature. Dark and moist, but warm enough. I could get used to this. Now we investigate. We can chart the growth of the mold every day and compare. For a sporangier force is my new favorite word. word. They create spores. And spores are everywhere. Sure, that's how they control your mind. No, it's how they create other fungi. They're like seeds. Seeds of evil. Okay, so when do I get to use my freeze ray? Slow down. We don't know how cold affects it yet. We wait and see how fast the mold grows in cold versus at room temperature. That's what you call science? Patiently wait to analyze the evidence. In the meantime, let's do a different test. Will we feel cooler sitting around, uh, sitting around the apartment, or playing in a, the sprinklers outside? Fine. Go have fun getting soaked. Shoot. Hey, maybe it was just a moldy sandwich after all. Whatever. I think I'll order some yum yums on hamster prime. Wait, wait, wait. The science thing isn't done. Turn the page to learn how you can run your own super science experiment. All right, guys. Today, we're going to do the first page of the super science experiment. So here we go. Super science. Sciencing with master hamsters. Can you put the freeze on mold? Blade. What we'll, uh, what we'll ask, would freezing temperatures of, uh, of, uh, actually stop even a moldy monster or even just a moldy sandwich? What we'll do, perform a scientific test to see if, to see if mold grows at temperature below freezing. Got that? First, we'll need two se uh, sealable plastic bags, a teaspoon, water, a marker, food, and bread. The kind of, uh, the kind of, uh, without per per uh, the vaders will work best. Next, you need mold spores. What are you doing? Hush, child. I'm sciencing. Mold spores are everywhere. So just, just rub the bread on a doorknob, a table, anything people touch a lot. I feel silly. Next, tear the two pieces. Carefully place each, each in a, pla a, pla a piece of a bag. Add a teaspoon uh, of water into each bag uh, uh, with the bread. Use a measuring spoon to equal amount in each bag. Now use a marker to label, or label one bag freezing and the other room temperature. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this video, and I hope you like the science thing with Master Hamster. You see it, the, and subscribe for more videos and more fun. See you, uh, see you till next time and have uh, having a great time. Have, uh, have a great rest of your night.